Welcome. We're live from San Diego. And hey I'm here with my business partner, Alex. And we're going to show you some stuff on this screen here that could change your business, change your income. So a little background, um, what we're talking about is how to fix your website, or if you don't have a website, how to build a website, build landing pages to get more paying customers. Mm -hmm. Alex and I combined have spent over $500 million on Facebook, Google, YouTube, Twitter, Snapchat, all that, Five, almost half a bit, well over half a billion dollars. So we're gonna share with you especially Alex is going to share something new that we have. We're going to do this in 45 minutes. So pay close attention. We're going to move through this stuff fast. I'm going to take actual live um, examples. Mm -hmm. And uh, Alex's first company he built, which he's co-founder and still owns, is called Zeus. It did, it's done over a billion dollars in revenue. So the stuff you're going to hear today, you're not going to hear anywhere else. So pay close attention. Mm -hmm. And uh, we got something interesting we're going to offer at the end that I've never done before um, publicly. So it's kind of cool. But let's get started with this. Three ways to fix your website to get more paying customers. So here's what I want you to do. Leave a comment. I'm going to take a comment with your website. Those of you entrepreneurs, I'm going to pull it up right here on my phone. Give me a comment website. We're gonna pull it up right now and I'm gonna train you guys. Some mm -hmm. of you can become professional, you know, internet experts, and I'll show you how you do how to do it. So is this thing gonna be bright too bright that people can see? I can lower it. Alright, here we go. I'm gonna look at my own live because I'm gonna pull up some comments. One of the things we're going to show you, here, here's the thing. Let me draw this out real quick before we even start. And I'm going to hand this over a little bit more to Alex in a second. So, can you hear me that marker there? Yeah, here we go. The average business, all right, there's about, in the U.S., there's roughly 20 million businesses, okay? The average business goes broke, bankrupt, out of business within five years. Yep. Okay. What's the reason? The question mark. What's the reason? 20 million people start within five years. Roughly, you're going to only have about 20% that succeed. So that's 4 million. Out of those, only a few of them will actually be highly profitable. So less than, let's just say, 1%. So, um, and maybe let's just be optimistic here. Let's just say 1 million of these. Now, what's the reason, like I said, that 19 million of these, 19 million fail? And it's very simple. There's a good book on this. Um, and there's a few theories. There's a book called The E-Myth Revisited by Michael Gerber. He has a theory of why he thinks most businesses fail. but the easiest and simplest explanation, my mentor, Alan Nation, told me this. He was my second mentor in life when I was about 19 years old. He said, most businesses run out of cash. Easy, right? So where does a business get cash flow? Customers. So if you wanna know the number one reason that a business fails, that your idea will fail, it's simple. Is you're not going to have enough paying customers. And if you don't have enough paying customers, you're not going to be able to pay your bills, pay yourself, afford any marketing, build your office, build your team. So the question then becomes, and, and not just free customers, because there's businesses, like think of social media. There's tons of people that I know that have one million social media followers, Instagram followers, YouTube, and they don't even make five, 10 grand a month off a million people because they're free customers. They're not paying them anything. So the key word, that's why I put this asterisk here, and what we're gonna talk about now in the, over these whatever 40 minutes we have remaining is the paying ones. I'm not saying you shouldn't have free customers because I have 13 million social media followers and out of those you do get paying customers, don't get me wrong. So here's what we're gonna show you. And let's pull up a, do you think the brightness is good or is it too? I, I can lower it if, if need be, but I... Look, can you pull this out of the way for a second? Yeah. Right, let's pick up, let's pull somebody. 
Please, uh, can you write this out? Let me type it in. Uh, I see quite a few here. Somebody said they're watching. All right, how about lifehealthlegal.com? Life health? Yeah, like three legal words all together. Lifehealthlegal.com. Okay. This is Paul Flowers live on YouTube. We're gonna pull. Okay, here's the website. Now, you might want to turn that. Yeah, that it's ringing. Yeah. Here's what I gotta say. Do you want the good news or the bad news? I was at uh, Grant Cardone's 10X conference yesterday, two days ago. I spoke to 8,000 people or 9,000 entrepreneurs, and I told them my theory is the Godfather theory. In the movie The Godfather. They said he's a man who likes his bad news immediately. So I'm gonna give you your bad news immediately. This is not really a good website. It's not gonna, it's not not gonna make any money. Now, if it is making you money, here's the good news. If this is making you money, prepare to make a lot more <laughs> when you follow what we're saying. No offense to you, I'm not picking. This is only constructive criticism. Yes, exactly. But it's better to be blunt because we only got 40 minutes left, okay? Life, health, and legal. What's wrong? First thing, it's not understanding human psychology. Humans are attracted to faces. Yes. Faces. They've done, they put this software, it's called uh, eye tracking software, on little babies, one years old. If they hold up a picture of an inanimate, like glasses or a hand versus a face, all the babies, this is an instinct built into us from the day we're born, we gravitate toward the face. Now, there are exceptions to this. Huge brands like Apple, they don't always have faces on their, but you're not Apple. Apple spent billions of dollars building their name Apple. I'm assuming, yeah, I'm assuming you're not Apple, okay? So, you need a face. Now, the second thing that's wrong with this, there's 25 psychological biases every website needs to have because these are the way humans make decisions. Humans are actually much simpler than you think. So the first thing we do is we look for a face, Mm -hmm. but we also look for something called relatability. Do I relate? I've never heard of this brand. Do I relate to it? We also look for authority. Should I trust this person? There's over a billion web pages, more now, on the internet. You can't trust them all. The human brain goes, okay, can I trust this person? There's nothing to trust here. There's nothing to relate to here. Mm -hmm. There's no human faces here. All there is is gimme, gimme, gimme. You need to have your personal story on there. Yep. And when you have your personal story, everything changes. Uh, Alex and I, I have used what we're teaching you now to, you know, make 50 million bucks a year. This stuff works. Trust me. This is not like I said. We've spent over 500 million dollars. His business is doing. his first business is doing about what 180 million dollars a year. 160. Yeah. yeah. 160 million dollars a year. So yeah. This is not amateur stuff. What would you say about it, Alex? So the first thing is, like you said, the face is for closer. sure. So you need a human face. But here's another thing that just jumps at me, and you can improve easily. So the, uh, there's this thing called anchor, meaning when a visitor sees a website for the first time. What does what uh, what uh, what do they do? What do they look at first? What what would a person look at this uh, look on this page first? You will look at life, health, and legal. That's the first thing, right, Ty? When the yes. first time you saw this, what was the first yeah. thing you saw? Yeah. So this is the anchor. This is a wasted opportunity right here to say what is your value prop? Why am I looking at this? What is in it for me? Instead, you just you know blew up your brand. Brand should be small right here at the top left corner and you know most people when they go to a website they never look at the nav bar they never look at the logo instead their eyes is looking for a reason why to continue looking at the page and you need to give that reason right here the right service the first time is not a good reason either what does that mean it's called reason respecting bias no one percent all right let's move to the second person i don't want to pick too much on one person right uh LA print and design. Right. LA all so it's a four word domain. It's kind of a lot, but it's okay. LA okay. print and, and design. design. There's an and dot com. Yeah, A N D. Okay. And design. LA print and design. Here we go. 
Okay. okay. Faces. Good news about it. We got some faces here. Yep. But I'm going to tell you, well, first thing, for those of you selling a product, mm -hmm. there's a lot. I see multiple products. This looks super generic, Polytech yep. hoodie. So it doesn't feel relatable. Um, is this your number one product you're selling? The navigation bar looks a little bit cheesy. Mm -hmm. It's way too much in your logo. Remember, most people are yep. accessing your website on their mobile phone. This thing is all, it says literally Los Angeles print and design. Los Angeles, it's too much. <laughs> it, it, it's just make, you don't even need words really. That's it right. It should be teeny. Yeah, just so, logo. Eh. This is for sure. I mean, and also. It's weird to have two. If this is your main product selling, you should have this there and right here a big call to yeah, action. Yeah, exactly. It's actually the best way to think about it is you, this looks like an e-commerce shop, obviously. Uh, we or talk that way. Yeah. The so, and the interesting thing about this website is that it, it is visual. Your product is visual, so that's a good news. So you can use that to your advantage to actually attract a lot of uh, a lot of sales through your website but one product at a time. Basically, whatever is your best-selling product, if you go to apple.com, let me actually do it right now. I don't think they put that many product right at the no, top. No, 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 Apple just had, well, Apple has one main thing here. Yeah, here we go. They the put one product. Action, yep. And if you click on that, you can buy the iPhone yep. 10. And it's, they put them in order yep. of the things that are making them a lot of money. The yeah. iPhone 10 Yeah, is that makes perfect thing. sense. This is they, a great website. Yeah, so basically you yeah. stack them just copy that, especially for those of you who are who are selling All right, let's go on to physical the next products. One. Lots of people asking here. Go for it. Joe Jackson said, 10X conference was awesome. Love your presentation, Ty. Thank you. Uh, so here's what we're gonna do, by the way, because we only got 45 minutes. We got we're going, we're actually going to a dinner here. Alice doesn't even know, but we got a <laughs> Um We are actually doing some work. We're pick we are actually allowing people to let us uh, I mean, we're taking on clients. So mm -hmm. this is something I've been asked to do for probably 10 yeah. years that yeah, I said no. Yeah, me too. Yeah. I've taken on a few people to help them build their social media, but I'm going to put a link a little bit later. We'll talk about this later. We'll, we'll actually do all this for you. We'll take our experience, like I said, over $500 million spent. We'll fix your website, optimize landing pages, and basically focus on getting you paying customers. But before we do that, let's keep going through here. Mm -hmm. um, because we can't do, we can't take on a ton of clients because we have Mentor Box and based in San Francisco, and we have the agency there. So we, we want to take on a handful of good ones. So I'm gonna teach those of you that we won't be able to do this for you. I'm gonna train you how to do it. Okay, that's what we're training you right now. Mm -hmm. Somebody said that's a nice jacket tie. What brand? This is Dolce. Dol Dolce. Dolce. Dolce Gabbana. All right. Kurt says GenerationShred.com. I'm assuming this is a fitness generation. website. It's loading. All right. All right. Generation Shred looks like another e-commerce. Yeah. Again, slightly bizarre. Too many things. You know, look, for you new entrepreneurs, it is sell a lot of stuff, but think of what Jeff Bezos did, now the richest man in the world. Amazon started with just books. Once he figured out how to do books, he then moved on to other products. But now you see Amazon sells everything, but at first it was more narrow. So go down here. Mm -hmm. um, Try. What is this? Like I go here, it, it, cardio is hard. These are better, you, Yeah. but they don't have a face on them. Why don't you have, is this your best selling shirt? Go to the Yeah, top, I hope it is his best selling shirt. It's like a weight slash pulse something or other. Yeah. Yeah. I, you need number. You guys need videos on your website. You need relatability. Why would I buy from your store? You need to have a picture. Is this you? I don't know if this is you or somebody you hire, but you should have a video with you going, hey, here's my story. I'm blankety blank. Yeah. I decide, you know, I started selling t-shirts on street corner. I start like FUBU. Uh, Damon John, he has like a story. I started selling them to friends and then I sold them to people out, outside of the Mets, whatever, baseball, you know, uh, stadium, stuff like that. And it's so this persona, he's like personable. You like go, oh, okay, that's a story I want to buy into. Mm -hmm. People buy into stories. They buy into stories. Ronald McDonald with McDonald's understood this, you know, 70 years ago. Even though Ronald McDonald, which was a guy, Ray Kroc was the man who took McDonald's 
to the McDonald's we know. He bought it from the McDonald's brothers. He put a story, and it was like a kid's story. It was like Ronald McDonald and the burglars and Grimace and all that. Mm-hmm. And, and all that story, now McDonald's has the largest share because it became a story you bought into. And there's no story here. I mean, it's an okay website. But it, yeah, but he doesn't okay. even say what is the story. Yeah, exactly. Okay, let's do another one. Go one for it. One or two it. more, and then we're going to walk you through what we would do to fix your website. Because mm-hmm. now I'm just pointing out what's wrong, but we want to also show you how to do it right. Yep. What's the next one? Okay. You want me to yell that one? Yeah. yeah. Cleancarting.com. Clean what? Carting. C-A-R-T-I-N-G. Anchor at the beginning, at the top. Clean carting? Is that is that right? Well, there's a lot of things wrong with this. First of all, <laughs> it, no one cares about logos. This is a big logo. It's this is narcissistic. Biggest, this is from like the 90s. No, they don't did. have this. Like, We're yeah. not making fun of you, but just don't have big logos. It's just yeah. Apple's Apple's logo is like this big. So is Facebook. So is YouTube's. They're billion dollar brands. Mm-hmm. It's not like you're going to convince me to use your thing. This is okay that you have the yep. phone number. This is not good. Get social with us. Just have your Facebook link. <laughs> yeah, get Don't also job. put links to your social unless you have good social media. Yeah, I've clicked on people have their Instagram there. You click as like seven followers. You're like, oh, I'm not buying from that company. So um, also use a one eight hundred number. They're cheap yeah. and it increases your just you know get uh, Grasshopper or one of yeah, those services. Yeah, Grasshopper. You can buy eight hundred yeah. numbers. Uh, so you need to take your main service. Hold it right there. Mm-hmm. And I mean, this is okay. I don't know much about the trash business, but this is not what you want your website to look like. Yep. Quick quote. There's no way people ever are pressing on this link. Here. It, it's like invisible. But even if they do, I mean, is this? Yeah, no, yeah. you need and a Calendly. Yeah, no, you need a Calendly there. So if you're making money with this, the good news is you're about to make a lot more. Yeah. If you make some changes, we'll show you in a second. Yeah, just yeah. put a Calendly widget there so that people Calendly, can sketch yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's see. Else. Somebody said expensive jacket, cheap zipper. This ain't a cheap zipper. <laughs> people make stuff up. Okay. How about this? Um, wow. Some of you have really bio, L-I-E-F dot com. Bio what? Bio L I E F. That's a confusing That's a, spelling. That's yeah. It's what a, it is it? Like bio leaf. But L I E F though. Make sure it's like life misses spell. I don't know what it is. It's like bio lie and F U. <laughs> <F-U. laughs> <laughs> oh, this Make is sure the you... worst possible anchor ever. Like, yeah, you yeah, don't just want like... any cheesiness. Yeah. Biology, belief, innovation. Look, think of it this way. Imagine you, whoever owns this, were not. The, you didn't know yourself, and you came to this website, would you just be like, oh, biology, yes. belief, belief <laughs> innovation, not trying to knock you. I've made these mistakes, so I'm laughing at you, but also at myself, because I've made these mistakes, and I was like, I'm going to make a majestic website, and people are going to be like, belief, <laughs> ancestry, <laughs> legacy, just get to the point. People are busy now. Now, if you're building some monster brand, and you have $100 million dollars, you know, in the bank from venture capitalists that allows you to do weird stuff. But I'm assuming you're like us. We started out with nothing. You just got to go and you got to make money. What do you sell? And this is a part. Okay. So that logo is repeated twice. Yeah, you don't need two <laughs> logos. And why? What am I buying? A, yep. a mountain? I'm buying a fjord. Looks like the fjords <laughs> of Norway or something. Can you click on what that is? Yeah, let's see what it is. Yeah. Let people know on Twitter. Dream somewhere else. There's a lot of it's like bugging out. I've never Twitter is being weird. So if you're on Twitter, go watch on Facebook or Instagram or YouTube Live. Okay. Okay. What so, is this? Okay. It's still, it's, we don't know. It's still, we don't know. It's phytocan. Let's click phytocan on. carinoids. So it's some alternative medicine. That's cool. Um, I'm all for that. I am two click in to find yeah, out what it is. Two clicks to get this hemp oil capsules. Take your best product. Put a video, video, video. I want to make a special song called the the video song. Video. 
And by 2020, Google estimates that 80% of all internet activity will be watching a video. You guys right now are watching a live video. Mm -hmm. People watch videos. YouTube's the number two search engine in the world. Video, it'll pass Google eventually. Facebook switched over to video. Instagram's all videos now. If you go to your explore, it's mostly video. Why? Because video replicates real life. Yep. And your website, this is like what people did in the 1990s and the early 2000s. I mean, not the 90s, the early 2000s. Yep. It's the kind of website and it's like, ah, there's no storytelling. There's nothing there. It's just like, the only reason I would buy here is if I already knew who you were. Yep. Like you're my buddy and you're like, go to BioLiF. <laughs> you, Ty. Bio, and you may want it. The name is a little crazy because it's a misspell of belief, but whatever. I'm not going to get into making somebody change their whole brand. Uh, is legislation, should that be like the main thing? Is that, I would put that on the footer unless a ton, you need to have Google Analytics. There are a ton of people going to your site. And yeah. Going, you know what? I or is you like today? I want to read about <laughs> legislation. <laughs> legislation. <laughs> Most people don't like, there's no video here either. There's this tool called Lucky Orange, which shows you the heat map of where people are clicking. I promise you nobody's clicking on legislation at, at all. So pick another one. Yeah. Uh, all right, let's see. How about, um, let's see, we have, uh, actually, so here's what I want to do. I want to stop there. Alex, show the anatomy of a good website, what people need to do, okay. what you like. Now, we showed you the problem. Every 99% oh, of websites are not good. They mm -hmm. don't create profit for people. Mm -hmm. A lot of people make money off-site. Their website's not a big part. But you got to make the internet work for you because the internet works while you sleep. Yeah. I mean, I've woken up and made, while I was sleeping, 100 grand. Off, I mean, almost all the time. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like you go to sleep and while you're sleeping every hour you're making like eight grand, 10 grand. Because I know how to get on the phone and in person make money, but did you know that to make 100 grand a year you only have to make basically minimum wage if you're making money 24 seven. If you only work eight to five or nine to five, you have to make twice or three times the money because that's only eight hours. So just remember that. 12 bucks an hour minimum wage I think in California now if you can make it 24-7, 365 mm -hmm. is like the equivalent of like four an hour, which is 100 grand a year. Right. And so, okay, Alex, take it away a little bit. Here. Yeah, so um, uh, well, I can show some of the clients, but I want to show, should I uh, show MentorBox really quickly, how, how we think about it? So you look at MentorBox's website, this is MentorBox.com, you see at the top there's logo, but it's not in the middle. It has nothing to do. People ignore at the top altogether. This is what I call the anchor. For those of you who, who have seen my products and websites before, they are familiar with a, one of the templates that I use is, is this particular template, which is an anchor at the top. Learn new skills really fast, basically. I tell you right up front what this website is about. And then the video with the, with the video authors, people that people know, so that authority is built right up front. And then one method, this is one of many methods that I use, is I put call to action right under the video, more authority, uh, and then what's called, um, the, the, basically then we show the product, this is demonstration. Every website not only should say why you should buy this product, it should also say how it works, how does it add value to you. Uh, then value construction, at the bottom, again, I have more authority and then story. So that's the stack. It's like at the top, we tell you what's the value, video, a ton of videos, we demo the product, and then we show, uh, we, we build from there. And then we build urgency and a lot of other things that I wanna get into. I wanna show you one other, I wanna uh, tell you one other thing about uh, websites that would increase conversion really quickly, and that is basically uh, what I call uh, pricing the product, meaning price reveal. So if you have a product that is kind of, uh, depends on the price point, but if you have a product that is like expensive, like over a hundred bucks, for example, one of the things that you do is that you build value first before you reveal the product. People ask me all the time, do you show the price of the product 
up front or further down in the website and it really depends on what you're selling so if it is a high-end brand uh, like you know a high-end fashion item you show the price later on you build value first then you go for uh, price later if it is uh, a product that price is also a selling point meaning it's very affordable then you bring the price forward so the correct strategy, I've heard this question many times, the correct strategy really depends on uh, the website that you're, uh, that you're trying to build. It really depends on the website. Uh, what else should I do, Ty? What, uh, I, so just some, yeah. Some of the... So, pull up ads. This is the next yeah. thing. Real quick. So you build, here's the, the simple thing. You build a simpler website mm -hmm. that's more relatable, has yep. more authority, has video on it, has right. not too big of a logo, mm -hmm. has a human face on it, has your best product or your main product right there facing forward, has a quick call to action. So that's the first step. That's step A. Now you gotta have step B. You have to get paying customers yep. there. We've done it all. Like I said, we've spent over half a billion dollars, literally over half a billion dollars on companies we own, mm -hmm. we're majority owners of, or you know, founder partners of, and over and over we've seen that you can do that. Part A, you can make a really good website, but if you don't do part B, which is send a ton of people there. Like right, right now on this live stream, I'm looking between Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. Although Twitter Live crashed on us, we we'll probably have 20, 30,000 people watch this video. So you got to have mass amount of people. Now you don't always need 20 or 30,000 people visiting your website each month, but mm -hmm. it would help if right now 100 people visit your website, that's not enough, because not everybody's gonna buy. So the next thing I wanna show you is just real quick, the analysis of Facebook campaign, because Facebook's probably the best place to start. You yep. can do Google Ads, YouTube sometimes is good, depending on what you're selling. Uh, Twitter can work a little bit, same with Snapchat uh, in Insta Story. but here's some ads that we have right now. Yeah, um, and just kind of go through. You can see the reach here. Reached 8.2 million, Plus. 19,000 impressions. This is some smaller campaigns. Right. We spent 167 thousand dollars on this. Now, if you're a newbie entrepreneur, you can shrink this down to 1,600 dollars or whatever. Yep. yep. Um, show them a bit of organization and yeah. kind of anatomy of an ad. So let me, sh I'm going to use a board first and then go to the Facebook ads. I actually teach this all the time. Um, so at the very high level, most businesses come to have three steps. The first one is traffic. And this is what drives new customers to your website. Very few businesses have enough of a brand and pull to just bring customers in without any paid marketing or any sort of marketing or SEO out there. So most businesses have to do something to compel people to come and w w visit their website. So that's step one. Step two is landing page. And landing page is sometimes the first page of the website. It is a special page on your website. The job of a landing page is to take a, uh, a new visitor or a returning customer or a returning visitor and turn them into a lead or a paying customer. So the first one is, uh, the goal of this one is traffic, um, you know, sometimes paid marketing, sometimes SEO, there are many different ways of doing it. I'm gonna talk about Facebook in a second. Landing page is what I, I always tell people, the job of a landing page is exchange of value. It is not to do sales, it's too early for sales. Um, sometimes sales happen, happens on, in the first session, but the goal here is to turn a customer into a lead, first and foremost. And how do you turn customers into a lead? Some people just pop an email uh, you know, form to visitors, hoping that the visitor would type in, the, type in their emails, but most of the time it just doesn't happen. What reason do they have to do it? So that's why I say exchange, exchange of value is when you pop a form and you offer something in return. A lot of times, uh, you know, websites do this, especially, you know, if you have a uh, health related uh, website or you have an e-commerce website or what, what have you, especially educational products, you can write a short ebook and offer the ebook in return for capturing the emails. That's a very simple technique. There are many more techniques like that, but basically don't think of it as sales. 
think of it as exchange of value. I'm turning, you came to my website, I wanna give you something in return for capturing your email information. And then sometimes also make a sale, small sale in the first visit. Then what's after that is a customer lifetime value management. So once you have a customer who has hopefully paid you one dollar for a for a product already, at this point it is basically uh, it it goes from okay now we have a relationship. It goes from okay you're a customer into now I I have these other products. So it becomes cross cross selling. It becomes upselling. You offer them few, uh, more and more services in the future. Now I want to talk about step one. So remember three steps. All three are important. First, we talked about the landing page and what's an optimal landing page. Uh, you guys, we are going to talk about traffic generation in a second and Facebook ads specifically. The third one is a lot of uh, you know you know system build system building basically you need to build the right crm or you need to build the right email sequence system to capture user information and then uh continue uh, uh your relationship with your customer now let's talk about facebook really quick uh it's interesting i've spent a lot of i mean i've advertised on Facebook quite a bit, obviously, over the past 10 years. And I see people that are supposedly professional Facebook marketers, and yet they cannot tell you how, to, how they organize their Facebook ads. Let me give you a simple trick, and this will, if you already do Facebook advertisement, this will improve your Facebook adver advertisement right away. And I call this uh, the pizza model. So I think of, this is one of many frameworks I have for Facebook advertising. One of them is the simplest one actually that works really, really well if you have a simple product like, a, like an e-commerce store. Uh, let's say, and I did a live call on this a few days ago actually. Let's, let's say you have a luxury fashion item. Let's say a, you have a luxury watch. You know, I just picked something. Um, so the best way to think about it is that think of a campaign. So right now you're looking at my Facebook ad account. Can they see this right now? Uh, at the campaign level. Think of each campaign as, um, as the entire target audience. And I'm gonna show you, show it in my ads manager really quick in a second, as your entire target audience. And your selling watch to a watch, a luxury watch, let's say to women between 30 and 40. So that becomes the entire uh, campaign. Then at the ad set level, you start targeting by interests or demo. And I don't wanna get too much into details because it becomes too, too uh, technical for those of you who don't know how to do Facebook marketing. But what I do is that I create access, I treat access as a slices of pizza, and I exclude all other ad sets, all the other targeting from each slice of pizza so that my access are never overlapping. So um, I'll show this to you in my ad in a second. So here's a simple one that I'm currently running. Uh, let's say this one is on pizza model and we have a few of them but uh basically at the at the campaign level it's everybody in the united states or everybody that is my target audience at the at the ad set level i have specifically for example the first ad set i'm actually targeting people that are interested in thai but are not in the united states and then in in another ad set i would have people that are not interested in thai and are not in the United States. So basically I divide the world into slices and I use exclusions. And the reason you need to do this is so that your ad sets are not competing with each other. So it's a little trick for you guys to um, imp improve the efficiency of your Facebook marketing if you actually do Facebook marketing. Go back to questions. Yeah, so here's what I wanna do. Cause we got about 15 minutes left, 20 minutes left. What time is the dinner reservation? We're yeah, run. yeah, yeah. Okay. About twenty minutes. Okay. Um, here's the thing. I'm gonna. We're gonna do. We'll do a few more websites. We'll take a few more questions. We have launched, and this is the first official announcement of this. So those of you watching right now are getting mm -hmm. this first access. Um, 
So I, like I said, for the last 10 years, people have been like, hey, Ty, I've seen what you built. Will you build that for me? Whether it's you know, my personal brand, whether it's MentorBox, which is now you know, an eight figure business in a year. Um, and of course, all the stuff that Alex has done with his past companies, people have said, do that for us. Mm -hmm. Alex has, your app is what, number four? Yeah, in the world, four yeah, in top history. Yeah. It's done over $200 million. So both of us know how to make money for our own businesses. So people have naturally said like, yo, do it for us. And we've always said no. I've said no for two reasons. One, I haven't wanted to give out all my competitive secrets. And I said that way. <laughs> Um, I share a lot, but obviously I don't share every single thing. You want to be smart, but you don't want, I mean, you want to be generous, but you don't want to be a sucker and give up everything you know, right? Right. Number two, I haven't always had the bandwidth. Like I got my own marketing team and they do all my stuff. Now that Alex and I have been partners for the last couple of years out of San Francisco, we have a much bigger office there that's um, able to take on yep. new clients. So if you want us to do your website optimization, and do your advertising for you. So in the past, I've got programs that'll teach you how to do it. Mm -hmm. But if you want us to just do it for you, mm -hmm. if you're just one of those people that's like, I don't wanna build my own house, I want to hire somebody to build a house for me, that's what we can do. So we've got our agency under MentorBox, um, and MentorBox, for those of you who don't know, is a business we built together kind of as an experiment, but now it's got 40,000 members on recurring payments. Um, it's the largest nonfiction book shipping company in the world. We have Walmart now as a customer. So we did this experiment. We launched MentorBox. We took our brains, we put them together. We built out the landing pages, the marketing, the ad campaigns um, to the best. He's joined forces and now it's like much better because he knows stuff I don't know. I know things. So if you want us to apply that to you and your business on a smaller scale, We'll take the whole thing over for you, or we'll do, we'll do custom packages. So if you want to still do your own Facebook ads or you want to build your own website, we'll do the thing that you don't want to do. Mm -hmm. Now, here's the deal. We're going to get a crazy amount of people are going to write in so, and say, I did this once. I don't know if I told you. I once tested out like, oh, I'm gonna, for free, I'll evaluate your business, your website. Uh, 20,000 people. <laughs> press the button, the link. This I was can, like in 2014. This is before even I was doing social media branding. Now if I did it, I'm gonna get a, so what we've done, we put a simple application with a refundable 497 deposit. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you enter, we'll put a link up, put the, can you write the link yep. right on there? Yep. Well, for those of you who are interested, and this is going to fill up fast, we cannot take 10,000 people. Okay. Um, just because we don't have the bandwidth and I don't want to do that maybe one day. Mm -hmm. um, so if you're interested in this, just fill this out. It's a fully refundable deposit. There'll be, there's a phone scheduler too, right? Yes. Yeah. So what you'll do is you'll fill out the application saying, I'm interested in, in you looking at my business, taking over the website or we don't, we're not webmasters, but we'll fix your website, landing pages, tell you how to do it, all that stuff. Um, so you just go here. It's on our company, other company, mentorbox.com slash marketing agency one word yep remember not tylopez.com go to mentorbox.com slash marketing agency one word lower marketing agency and we'll get on the phone with you we've got our you know our consultants mm -hmm. we'll get there they'll look at your website they'll look at your business they'll talk with you you can set up whatever time you want them to call you you know this week and we'll first of all decide if we're a fit Yep. Sometimes we're not a fit. I've right. had people ask me just bizarre things that I'm like, I, can't, I don't know how to sell that. Like I had a kid out of Canada wanted me to help him sell drugs. I'm like, I ain't gonna help you sell drugs. I'm not going to jail for, you know. So hopefully you're not doing anything trying to get us to help you sell heroin mm -hmm. or something. But believe it or not, I get crazy requests like that. So we put an application. Um, some people go, why the 497? Simple, because if we don't, we'll get too many people that aren't se really serious. Now, if you get on the phone with our team and you decide you don't wanna do it, or we decide we're not a good fit, we press one button and we refund every penny back. So we're not gonna keep the deposit. 497, you'll, you won't get $496 back, you'll get all 497 back. If you decide to work for us, we'll apply that 
we have like five different packages mm -hmm. depending on what you want. Do you want us just to do the ads? Do you want us to do the landing pages and the ads? And do you want, you know, like there's literally four different packages. We'll apply that 497 towards whichever package you select. And if you don't select any of them, send it back to you. Let's known to mankind. I'm gonna take some questions now on that. Um, if you want us to do the work for you, this is for those of you. For those of you who wanna do this on your own, that's why we did the training at the beginning. I've got training courses on how to make money online program. You can train yourself. But we know at least 20% of you are like, forget that, I'm too busy with my business. I got too much headaches, just let someone else do it. It's kind of like me, like training my dogs. I know how to train my dogs, but I, there was a trainer that I could pay and I was like, come train my dogs for me, I don't have time, okay? So, Tyler, uh, sorry, mentorbox.com slash marketing agency. This thing will fill up, I promise you. If you, by the way, if you do the deposit and the phone scheduler is full, that means it's full. We'll just refund you the 497. So for those of you who get into late and you pay the 497, don't have a heart attack. You'll have, the, we'll press the refund or void. You get the money back in one to three business days. Okay, so if you get to this phone scheduler page and it says no slots available, that means it filled up too fast. If there is a time, then pick one of the available times. Exactly. Okay, let's see. Da 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 da. Can you help fill up webinar sites, Ramen Noor? Yes. Currently earning yeah. 200 for sure. That's. Yeah. Do we know how to do webinar? You should not ask us this. <laughs> yes. I do. We do know how to do webinar. I've probably done as much as almost any human on planet Earth. So that is something we know a thing or two about. I'm not trying to brag, but you asked. Um, read some of these questions here. All right. Everything is about food. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Marketing is the soul of business. It's actually the engine of business and it's sold too. All right. Uh, what is the link for website? Mentorbox.com slash marketing agency. Is that not in frame? Um, it's in the link. Ty, may you help with my Shopify business? Yes, we actually have in-house Shopify experts. So we have done a lot of, um, of uh, e-commerce customers. Uh, we have helped out quite a few of them. As a matter of fact, quite a few of them are, a lot of business owners become Mentorbox members and we have helped quite a few of them over time. So yeah, e-commerce e is definitely in our strength. Um, Okay, let me see. It stopped rolling. Let me get more questions. There's like four me. different ones you can. Yeah. Okay, so uh, WooCommerce better than Shopify. That depends on the business. Uh, could you apply to be in-house expert? Uh, yes, hundred percent. We actually have a bunch of. Um, uh, training programs in addition to our marketing agency for in-house marketing experts. We bring them in to our events and we train them so that they can go back and, uh, you know, become expert marketers in-house. Um, affiliate marketing or Shopify depends on which one. It's a layered question. Um, how do I sell microphones? Probably through Amazon is the best way to do it. Can you help with a music business? Yes, I'm a music uh, producer, international DJ. Yes, absolutely. You are Alex? So, yeah, someone no, else's. I am not a Alex, music. No, I am music. not a DJ. Alex. <laughs> I am not. So, I was just reading a comment. Um, okay, let me see. Where's the other one? Yeah, go. YouTube always has. Okay. YouTube has the most comments. Let's do a few, someone said, what's your DJ name? <laughs> Best landing page website. Let's do a few more of you that have websites. How about this one, widenstore.com. W-I-D-E-N store.com. Widenstore.com? Can you tell Craig to watch the door? W-I-D-E-N store.com. Okay. Here we go. Okay, I'm not a big fan of cartoons unless yeah. you're selling baby stuff. Uh, can't read the font. Yeah, this is Don't not readable. Don't do that like that. You, you, best gadgets of the season. 
no generic face. That is a face, but it's a generic face. Everybody knows that yeah. person doesn't work for you. Put your own face. I did a, a seminar and I had this lady there and she had a paint business and she had a website like this. Mm -hmm. And I said to her, is there a story of your family? She goes, yeah, it's me. I own the business and my four sons and our eight grandchildren. I'm like, you don't want to put that on your homepage, a video? Who would you rather hire to do paint your house? Some random whatever cartoon yeah, thing a swipe, or a fake yeah. girl's face there or like a woman business owner with her four sons and her grandkids. I was like, you're missing out on millions of dollars over your business, mm -hmm. uh, you know, over the length of time your business is open because it's just, it's nothing. It, mm -hmm. it, it, no one wants this. Got a question. We get the point. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need a I want a question. Widen store. First of all, what does widen mean? I don't, you need I'm to not sure. Explain that. This all store in sell. We still don't know what it sells. Yeah, okay. This, so this going. is above the fold. This one, you need our help. This is yeah, a disaster. This is, <laughs> There's no way this thing's gonna make any money. Not trying to be mean, but I'm just look, would you rather somebody if you go to a doctor, would you rather they just be like, you have cancer, or would you rather them be like, oh, everything's okay? Like I you know. I'm trying to just get to the point. CPBfitness.com. By the way, you should be going. We're going to be off air here in a few minutes. Mentorbox.com slash marketing agency. CPBfitness.com. CPB, CPV, I think. CPV? Yeah. It doesn't resolve. Okay. Foxship.com, two X's. Fox shit? Ship, no, Fox ship. ship. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, okay. Okay. All right, let's see. Uh, again, no idea. It's a face. Who said dog? <laughs> Uh, I'm not, I can't, I should not be laughing at this. But no, we are, yeah, this I'm is what I'm not to laugh, but I'm just going, what is this? Do you sell fox fur? Actual foxes? <laughs> what does I the fox? I, you I, should I, have that video. What does the fox say? Well, click that. I gotta see this. The number one. Okay. You need to put your main product there. What do people buy? Is it fox something? It doesn't go anywhere. It just. Okay. Maybe it just, it's a new website. Yeah. Maybe. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Seven dollar. I mean. Whatever's selling the most, put it on the home page. Thank you. Okay, let's do another one. Stephan, Stephanie Curran said she just booked. Welcome to the group. Welcome. She just, she just uh, did her application. For, I'm telling you, a lot of you, you know, as I've been doing this, I almost have never found a website that's good. Hiketools.com. Say it again. Hike, like go hiking. Uh -huh. Tools.com. Here we go. Hike tools. Why back of the head? Why? Yeah, no back of the head. If I show you a Kim Kardashian, go to Kim Kardashian's Instagram. Any picture with the back of her head does less likes. Look, another back of the head. Yeah. <laughs> People are obsessed. Entrepreneurs love back of the head stuff. <laughs> Have a video with you. Be like, hey, I've been hiking for 17 years. Let me tell you a crazy story. I, I was out in the wilderness and a bear bit my leg and so I didn't have enough supplies. So I decided I was going to open up a hiking supply company. And now I have it, and here's the most five most important things you need on any hike. A nine millimeter gun, a Glock, <laughs> a satellite phone, whatever. Just like play with it a little bit. Yeah, he's got the social proof going. So a bunch of good stuff. I mean, we are not, it's not all negative, but that, you know, this can improve, uh, be improved quite a bit. Did uh, he ring the uh, truck? He said he was going to get checked. Okay. Let's Could do we... another one. Oh. Someone says, why are you guys trolling websites? We're not trolling. These are people <laughs> submitting their things. Their web, Va, stayingtrendy.com. That's a good domain. Yeah. Staying. You can bring them here. Yeah. Yeah. Trendy.com. Stayingtrendy.com. I'm already worried. Should I? Yeah. What's up with the half the face? They do that all the time. This is this is what I said. Pop it up. This is okay, but ten percent code. I mean, seriously. Yeah. Can you just hey, you guys can come little... down here for a second. We have a studio audience now. Before we hang out. <laughs> um, yeah. Like, first of all, 
this girl looks like you just took her face off Instagram. I don't know if she... Oh, this, sorry, I dismissed Don't it. do the half the face thing. It's horrible. Head cut off. Staying trendy. Just put the main thing... Look, go back to Apple. Apple makes a billion dollars a year. Here, you guys can go over there so you don't have to see Sam's back. Sam has a very attractive back, but <laughs> he has a sexy back. <laughs> um... Okay. For a newbie entrepreneur and you were launching Apple, I would have said put the product, but right then there. have you, yeah, but it have a face in there yeah. too. So Apple Apple's can get so without big. it. Yes. Yeah. All right, let's do a couple more. Then we're going to wrap up. Somebody said boat business in Cabo. Okay, that's not a website. I like when people just say phrases to me. I don't know what that means. <laughs> boat business in, I'm going to make up a phrase. Um, protein shake in limbo. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Prosperoussolutions.org. Pros. The program helped us run ads to sell 200,000 acres. Yeah, if you're yes. trying to sell 200,000 acres, it's not, you better sell. build a badass website. Yes. I looked at a piece of property in LA that's $14 million, and it's horrible marketing. And they haven't been able to sell it. I could have sold it, I think, in like a year. Yeah. Okay. What is this website? It, it didn't resolve, so I didn't. Prosper. Prosperous. Yeah. It's for Went sale. To... That's a good domain. Someone should buy it. Fifteen hundred dollars. <laughs> Maybe yeah, I misspelled it. That sounds about right. Five different. <laughs> Let's see. Do one more dot com. Is that a porn site? I hope. I not. do not. Yeah. It's do and the number one. Do one more dot com. Yeah, here Somebody we said, go. Show us an example of a good website. There's not that many. Yeah. Oh, no. No, no, no. This isn't good. Look at this. Some rogue guy on the, here. You're blocking it. Yeah, it, sorry. It's just like that's no, the just only him. person. One it's weird. Still no value prop. What, is. What, yeah. is it? Motiv what is a motivation station? I want a motivation station. <laughs> what is a motivation station? Now I'm intrigued. That's yeah, very it. motivating. <laughs> Do you guys want a motivation station? This is what it is. It's a blank white page here somehow. <laughs> yeah, motivation station is not very motivating, but... Um, it is apparently apparel, but I don't understand. Okay, one more. One more, one more and then we got. got. So he says some poor guy's about to commit suicide. <laughs> Go back. Is this a suicide? For, not to laugh about suicide. Some people got in trouble for that. But is this suicide prevention? Possibly. No. No, go back. They were talking about this dude over here. No. Looks like he's got those little wing things that they like fly. Those are pretty cool. Okay, CollarCityConnect.com. Man, that is a weird website yep. name. Collar City. Collar City. Collect. Yeah. Dot com. Collar City Connect. 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 No, connect. not connection.com. Dot com. No, collar, like a collar, C-O-L-L-A-R. Oh, yeah, Try to have website names that make sense. That, it doesn't, lot, that name, need like five. You don't want it confusing, like yep. collar sounds like color or like. I think it's C-O-L-L-A-R, A-R, C-O-A-L-L-A-R, -A -A City, Connect. Yeah, that's rest, press, that's good. <laughs> you see how long that took because it doesn't make that much sense. Okay, is Collar City, City, is that some place we don't know? Is it like, are you yeah, doing maybe local? It is. What is Collar, can you guys Google, where is Collar City? Is that like San Luis Obispo or some small town? Because it doesn't make like... The marketing sense. agency for restaurants. Well, this, it, no, not this picture here. Why don't you have a real restaurant? Kansas. It's in Kansas. So it's have an actual a city, yeah. testimonial. Go to um, Beachbody. Somebody yeah, asked Beachbody me for a good website. Good. I can't remember if Beachbody is a good website. But you need to show before and after, like this restaurant used me. This is somewhat okay. This is a decent Beachbody. Hope they probably got decent social media. They got yeah. their phone number. They have their core product. It yeah. does make sense. Everything you need to get fit. Stream 700 workouts, nutrition plans. This could be improved. I yeah. actually know the owner of this. The founder of this, I haven't talked to him about his website, but they make $900 million with this website, but they also do multi-level marketing, so it's a little more complicated how they sell. So, all right, we're going to wrap up here. It's been 45 minutes. we got to go. All right. And um, 
go to Ment. If you want us to do this stuff for you, for all of you who we kind of were hard, hard on lights, don't. Um, somebody said it's not in Kansas. Somebody got mad. <laughs> got what? Somebody said you're being disrespectful. <laughs> we're not being disrespectful. If you can't handle heat, don't become a fucking entrepreneur. I'm going to tell you that right now because the meanest right. thing in the world is customers. You got a crappy product, they disappear. So I don't know where it is. Go back to this go back site, to it. but I'm telling you this. No, yeah, Holler here City. we go. I think it I overrode it. Yeah. It's here just we not a good website. I don't know how to, what do you want me to do? Lie to you and be like, oh, I mean, people, some people want to come into entrepreneurship like it's your mother. Like your mom's going to tap you on the back and be like, everything's okay. This is for the big boys and the big girls. Welcome to the big leagues. This is the NBA. People, you want to go play basketball at some little park, go play at a little park. You want to come in the NBA, you come in there with trash, people are going to be like, that shit's trash. That's just, that's, I grew up playing basketball in the projects. That's like how it is. If you, if you got trash, just be like, yo, it's trash. And then fix it and then make money. So it's constructive criticism. We're not calling anybody else website out for fun. Now you think I have fun going through the internet looking at websites? Come on, give me a break. This website has, it doesn't really convey what you do for them. Yep. And everything is about That's people. exactly right. And so you're a marketing agency for restaurants. That's called a feature. Where's the benefit? How about saying, I'll tell you this, one, one of my uh, friends, he had, Joe Soto, he has an agency, okay? His agency took a restaurant. They paid him $10,000 and he makes them an extra hundred grand a month. For years, he's made them, they paid him 10 grand a month to make 100 grand a month. So on his homepage, he can put the name of the restaurant, mm -hmm. he can put his face, here's a video, he can say results, paid me 10 grand, I, I helped them grow 100 grand, I think it's 100 grand a week of revenue. So I'm making them extra 400,000, they pay me 10 grand. If you wanna learn how I did it, click here and I'll call you. That's a good website. Mm -hmm. Website's not about fancy, it's not about having pictures that are, this, this is a fancy picture. Everybody in the world knows it's not a girl that's really at a restaurant. It's a stock photography. Don't use stock photography. I'm telling you. It doesn't work. Look at most popular, you know a girl who knows how to do business online? Kylie Jenner. She made $440 million before she's 21 years old. If you go on her Instagram or Snapchat, it's relatable. You may not like it, but it's her. She doesn't put pictures of fake models, things like that. Even the big brands, every big brand. I was just with the business partner of Tommy Hilfiger. You look at Victoria's Secrets. They're using personable people using Kendall Jenner. That's why they're using Adriana Lima, and they want to tell a story about the people. You need a story, man, and there ain't no story there. Yeah, here's a simple trick. Use the word you a lot. Yes. So the marketing agency for restaurants, you just told people who you are, like as in the business owner, what's in it for me as a visitor? So use you. Like, what would it do for you as a visitor? And so, by the way, I just gave you more fucking free knowledge than you learn in whole goddamn, I've been to the, Harvard, they're teaching the stuff that I'm doing here. They, t they put my videos up in Harvard Business School. I'm not saying that to brag, I'm just saying, people don't value and appreciate how much we just gave you in 45 minutes. Now, a lot of you do, but for those of you who don't get it, go take a community college class, go take a four year degree. Mm -hmm. They're not gonna teach you this because college professors haven't spent 500, me and him spent 500 million bucks of our own money on advertising and websites. So who do you want to learn from? A professor who's going to teach out of a book, case studies that other people did, or who just go straight done, to the source? Who hasn't done marketing since yeah. 80s? I mean, at, at Berkeley, I took their marketing class. He, it was, he dropped out. He yeah. got a PhD <laughs> in astrophysics or whatever, or engineering. Engineering. Or and then engineering. he dropped out yeah. of Berkeley MBA and started a business that's made a billion dollars. Because so, the business school is just yeah. not there. I mean, the marketing professor is actually right. They they teach you stuff that doesn't really work in real world. I promise so, you, or they teach case studies. Yeah. They literally teach my videos. People text me, they're <laughs> like, here's a picture of my professor having your here in my garage video <laughs> up to talk about psychology. <laughs> so anyway, it's not about us. Go to mentorbox.com slash marketing agency. We're out. And uh, for those of you who get in before it fills up, there, if it fills up, we'll just refund you the deposit. Mm -hmm. um, those of you who want us to do it for you, We'll be talking to you this week. And those of yes. you who want to do it on your own, good luck. It'll take you a little while, but I hope you figure it out.
Yep. Okay. Bye. All right. Somebody Thanks for watching. I go to Harvard. People who work for me did. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, guys. You guys ready to go? Yeah. You want a quick tour? Sure. Here, come out here for a second.